Hello, fellow heirs. Welcome back to Weekday Wind Down with the Word, where we are reading through the book of Leviticus. And today we will be reading the 23rd chapter of Leviticus in the NLT version. This chapter includes the appointed festival, Passover and the festival of unleavened bread, celebration of the first harvest, the festival of harvest, the festival of trumpets, the day of atonement, and the festival of shelters. So let's start reading. The appointed festivals. Then the Lord said to Moses, give the instructions to the people of Israel. These are the Lord's appointed festival, which you are to proclaim as official days for holy assembly. You have six days each week for ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of complete rest, an official day for holy assembly. It is the Lord's Sabbath day, and it must be observed wherever you live. In addition to the Sabbath, these are the Lord's appointed festival, the official days for holy assembly that are to be celebrated at their proper time each year. Passover and Festival of Unleavened Bread the Lord's Passover begins at sundown on the 14th day of the first month. On the next day, the 15th day of the month, you must begin celebrating the Festival of Unleavened Bread. This festival to the Lord continues for seven days, and during that time, the bread you eat must be made without yeast. On the first day of the festival, all the people must stop their ordinary work and observe the official day for Holy Assembly. For seven days, you must present special gifts to the Lord. On the seventh day, the people must again stop all their ordinary work to observe an official day for holy assembly. Celebration of First Harvest Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you enter the land I am giving you, and you harvest its first crop, bring the priest a bundle of grain from the first cutting of your grain harvest. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest will lift up before the Lord, so it may be accepted on your behalf. On that same day, you must sacrifice a one-year-old male lamb with no defect as a burnt offering to the Lord. With it, you must present a grain offering consisting of four quarts of choice flour moistened with olive oil. It will be a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. You must also offer one quart of wine as a liquid offering. Do not eat any bread or roasted grain or fresh kernels on that day until you bring this offering to your God. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation wherever you live. Festival of Harvest From the day after the Sabbath, the day you bring the bundle of grain to be lifted up as a special offering, count off seven full weeks. Keep counting until the day after the seventh Sabbath, 50 days later. Then present an offering of new grain to the Lord. From wherever you live, bring two loaves of bread to be lifted up before the Lord as a special offering. Make these loaves from four quarts of choice flour and bake them with yeast. They will be an offering to the Lord from the first of your crops. Along with the bread, present seven one-year-old male lambs with no defect, one young bull, and two rams as a burnt offering to the Lord. These burnt offerings, together with the grain offering and liquid offerings, will be a special gift as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Then you must offer one male goat as a sin offering and two one-year-old male lambs as a peace offering. The priest will lift up the two lambs as a special offering to the Lord, together with the loaves representing the first of your crops. These offerings, which are holy to the Lord, belong to the priest. That same day will be proclaimed an official day for holy assembly, a day on which you do no ordinary work. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation wherever you live. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along with the edges of your field, and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. Leave it for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God.
the festival of trumpets. The Lord said to Moses, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. On the first day of the appointed month in early autumn, you are to observe a day of complete rest. It will be an official day for holy assembly, a day commemorated with loud blasts of trumpet. You must do no ordinary work on that day. Instead, you are to present special gifts to the Lord, the Day of Atonement. Then the Lord said to Moses, Be careful to celebrate the Day of Atonement on the tenth day of that same month, nine days after the Festival of Trumpets. You must observe it as an official day for holy assembly, a day to deny yourselves and present special gifts to the Lord. Do not work during the entire day because it is a day of atonement when offering of purifications are made for you, making you right with the Lord your God. All you who deny themselves that day will be cut off from God's people, and I will destroy anyone among you who does any work on that day. You must not do any work at all. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation wherever you live. This will be a Sabbath day of complete rest for you, and on that day you must deny yourself. This day of rest will begin at sundown on the ninth day of the month and extend until sundown on the tenth day. The Festival of Shelters And the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Begin celebrating the Festival of Shelters on the fifteenth day of the appointed month five days after the Day of Atonement. This festival to the Lord will last for seven days. On the first day of the festival, you must proclaim an official day for holy assembly when you do no ordinary work. For seven days, you must present special gifts to the Lord. The eighth day is another holy day on which you will present your special gifts to the Lord. This will be a solemn occasion and no ordinary work may be done that day. These are the Lord's appointed festivals. Celebrate them each year as official days for holy assembly by presenting special gifts to the Lord, burnt offerings, grain offerings, sacrificing, and liquid offerings, each on its proper day. These festivals must be observed in addition to the Lord's regular Sabbath days and the offerings are in addition to your personal gifts, the offerings you give to fulfill your vows, and the voluntary offerings you present to the Lord. Remember that the seven-day festival to the Lord, the Festival of Shelters, begins on the 15th day of the appointed month. After you have harvested all the produce of that land, the first day and the eighth day of the festival will be days of complete rest, on the first day, gather branches from magnificent trees, palm fronds bought from leafy trees and willows that grow by the streams. Then celebrate with joy before the Lord your God for seven days. You must observe this festival to the Lord for seven days every year. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed in the appointed month from generation to generation. For seven days you must live outside in little shelters. All native-born Israelites must live in shelters. This will remind each new generation of Israelites that I have made their ancestors live in shelters when I rescued them from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God. So Moses gave the Israelites these instructions regarding the annual festival of the Lord. That concludes the reading of the 23rd chapter of Leviticus in the NLT version. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you once again for listening to Weekday Wind Down with the Word. And have a blessed life in Jesus Christ. Bye.